And after this hackathon, the most important aspect, I think Umesh and I both have received messages saying that, you know, we have got a light of the day to start from where we, we have been talking about things. We have been listening, talking, hearing, reading every aspect with regards to technology, but we were not getting to know where we need to start. And our panelists who have been using technology on a regular basis in their day-to-day uh, -day practice have come forward uh, willingly uh, on a pro bono basis to share how small, small things can add value to your entire practice or might be industry where you are working in on a continuous basis. Thank you, Daya, sir, for your uh, opening remarks. And it's an encouraging uh, words that leads us in AI in ICI committee to work further under your chairmanship. And we are also having our leaders, Ranjit Agrawal, sir, president and vice president, Taranjot Singh Ji Nanda, who are guiding us to lead forward in this AI in ICI committee. Friends, now let's focus on today's topic, that is the hackathon part two of uh, <clears throat> use cases in MS Excel. Now let's move towards the next panelist, Chunoti Dolkia, ma'am, over to you. Thank you, sir. Yes, better my screen is visible. Yes, it is. Thank you, sir. And good evening, all. Before just 10 years ago, would we have believed that we will ask the computer to draw a picture as per our requirement and the computer will draw it? Now this is possible with the help of AI. In fact, all the pictures used in this PPT are drawn by computer. This is the power of AI. Now the question comes, why we as a chartered accountant should use AI in Excel? Why we as a chartered accountant should use AI in Excel? Well, we are facing many uh, deadlines to complete our tasks. Hence, we need speed and accuracy in our work. AI has both the features. Moreover, it provides error results and high quality of analyzed data, and it is flexible. Moreover, it provides audit support. Gone are those days where we had to remember many complex formulas and functions of Excel. AI creates formulas for us. It combines data and provides analysis, converts text to table, and automates data entry. AI can be used with plugins also. We can use it directly in Excel itself. But as it can be used only in upgraded version of Excel, I will not demonstrate it here. Now we will see how AI works in Excel. Let's start. Now, in the text audit report, we are spending most of the time in reporting for TDS in clause 34A and clause 21. In the TDS report, in column 7, 8, and 9 of clause 34A, we have to report total amount where TDS is deducted less than specified rate, total TDS deducted less than specified rate, and amount on which TDS is not deposited. For that, we have to first find out rate at which TDS is applicable and rate at which TDS is deducted, where it is deducted at a lower rate in case of each deductee. Now, this is complex task. As we see here, that if TDS is not deducted in some cases, and in some cases, TDS is deducted but not deposited. Also, for different section of TDS, different rate of TDS is applicable. And as we see here, that there are company form and HF deductee, and all we know, that rate of 2% is applicable in case of company for nature of deductee and 1% for all other cases. Now, generally what we are doing is we are filtering the data and put manually these figures. Now, if there is error in this figure, our all reporting will be wrong. Now, what to do? Now, in that case, how do we know that whether TDS is deducted in each case has correct rate or not? I don't know any formula, even I don't know conditional formatting. How can I do this? Well, I will make it easier. Let's see how. First, we will calculate rate of TDS applicable. Just ask JGPT. I have formed this query and the result is here. Just copy paste the formula. Drag and drop it. 
and the result is here. As we see, 10% is applicable under section 194A, 2% in case of company form and nature of deductive, 1% for other deductive, and 2% in case of section 194JB. AI has made the task so simpler. In just one minute, we have the result. There is no need to even filter the data section-wise and calculate rate. The only thing to be considered here is that form the query properly. Now we will check that at which TDS is actually deducted and that to only where it is deducted at lower rate. Just ask that GPT by forming a query. I have formed this query, copy paste it. And the result is here. So in this case, rate of 10% is applicable, but TDS is deducted at 6%. Now just check whether certificate of lower deduction or no deduction of TDS is obtained or not. If it is obtained, delete the cell, otherwise move to next column. Total amount where TDS is deducted less than specified rate. Form the query. Now there is no need to mention applicable rate. Check GPT will find it automatically. Copy paste the formula. The result is here. In these cases, TDS is deducted at lower rate for this amount. Now we will move to next column. Total detect deducted less than specified rate. Ask that GPT by forming a query. I have formed this query and the result is here. That GPT has given the formula. We are copy pasting it here. Now we will move to next column. Amount on which TDS is not deposited. Ask ChatGPT to form the query. We have formed this query. Just give cell reference. And it has given the formula. Copy paste it. The result is here. So our reporting for law 34 is for A is ready. It shows that 10% rate is applicable, but TDS deducted at 6%. It is lower deducted for this amount and total TDS deducted for this amount. On these cases, TDS did, uh, did not deposited. Now, if we want to know amount on which TDS is not deducted for close 21, we can ask the GPT to form a query. The result is here. We can copy paste it. Now, just filter section wise, and our result is ready. Now, there is no need to spend two, three hours on TDS reporting. Just form a query, ask Jeff GPT, and it will give the result. Now, things to be considered only here is that use quality data. There should not be any error in the data itself. Also understand limitations of AI and interpret the result given by AI as there are chances of incorrect results in some cases. Definitely AI has intelligence, but we should use our own intelligence to interpret the results. We cannot fully rely on AI. If we are using uh, plugins, choose the right option as per our need. Thank you. Thank you. I am ending my session. Yeah, thank you, Chunoti, madam, and uh, you have accepted the Chunoti of AI Hackathon, and mm -hmm. we are very happy that you have taken the use case, which is very practical and which is used by everybody in tech.